Hey everyone, I'm out here today hitting old house site. It's my dig buddy Kurt over there getting his detector ready. And uh, we just got here and the first signal I dug was a 65 signal and um, I've already put it in my tackle box but I'll go ahead and show it to you. And, uh, here it is, it's a artillery pin of some type military related I'd say World War II, maybe World War One, but uh, that's really cool. First signal I got, should I put 65 right at pop tab, and I'm using the AT Pro today, at the moment. I might switch over to the AT Gold. I have it in the truck, but um, I'm starting out with AT Pro, and I have it in Pro Zero with iron discrimination at 22. So we're going to give it a shot and see if we could find some relics. So, All right, I dug that artillery things. pin right there, and I got to get an 80 signal right here. And I uh, just put the shovel in and it popped right on out. And here it is. It's a it's a coin. It looks like a wheat penny. I tried cleaning it up a little bit, but I think it's a wheat penny, so that's pretty cool find. So anyway, I'll show you fine thing else. I'm hoping we'll get into some silver or something at this spot. Well I'm pretty sure this place has been dug before. I mean you can walk a hundred to fifty feet without getting a signal. I mean you get iron signals, but you don't get no non ferrous targets, so somebody's dug here for uh, for sure. But uh, people do miss a few things sometimes, and uh, we just got a good signal here, down about four inches. It was showing up like an 80, and there it is right there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a horse buckle. Just a press horse buckle. So all right, I'll take it. Ground's really wet. We've had a couple inches of snow a few days ago, and it just melted. So it's. Uh, really helping the signals the deeper well, signals. We're at house site number three of the day. Check out that big old chimney there. Really nice. Old rock. And there's one right here too. And then here's something you don't see every day. A caboose. Big old caboose just out here in the field. I mean who knows how it got here but it's pretty old. So I can finally say I found a caboose. I've been wanting to find one of these things for a long time. Didn't need the detector for this though. It's nice. Let's go, let's go inside of it and take a look. Get up in here. It's been sitting here a while it looks like. But we'll get up inside. Alright. Watch my step. Pretty old caboose. dangerous but you know I watch out for nails sticking up this is a really cool caboose let's come up in here get a look all right oh it's pretty cool in here an old caboose who knows how old it is maybe 1930s it could be older 50s I mean it's old caboose what if I just drop that camera? <laughs> it's drop proof though. Let's get down from here. Go out the back over here and there's Kurt over there. But this old house here is really old and on the inside there's a old fireplace and stuff. Let's go. Here's the house. Old well pump out front, it's like five feet in the air. I guess somebody tried to pull it up or something. Very odd. Old little well pump. The stairs are about caved in, but we'll see if we can get in here. Oh yeah, this place is cool. Old house. Had power at one time. Here's the chimney. It's old. Stuff on the floor. They were talking to Billy, and he said there was an old cash register found inside of this house, and it was in here for years. It was just real heavy, and he said if finally somebody got it. He's the um, the guy that is taking us out here today. 
and uh, I found Billy's gold ring for him. And ever since then, he's been getting permission for place permission to a bunch of spots for us to hunt, and uh, so we're searching them. So anyway, hopefully we'll find something. Well, I'll tell you what, this has been some tough hunting today. I mean, we hit around this house site here, and it is just scarce on signals. It's almost like somebody's done dug it to death. Anyway, I was walking by this foundation here. It's some type of building that had a cellar hole, it looks like, or just a dugout spot. And um, actually, I balled this fine. I don't know if you can see it, but right down here, I see a spoon. Right there. Look at that. I bought a spoon. Didn't even need the detector. Seems like I'm just as good without one. Maybe I'll just start walking around and eyeballing stuff. Here's a mason jar lid right there. I bought a mason jar lid. Let's see what else we can get. Let's see, uh, it's like old batteries is what they are. Old batteries. About it. Huh. Here's all the stuff I found today. Had a really tough hunt. We hit four old house sites, and I mean every single one of them has been dug before, and not just once. They've been they've been pounded pretty hard, but uh, I still managed to find some stuff. I got a spoon that was burnt in a fire. Must have been in that old shed, and uh, I'm not sure what that brass thing is right there. Really cool. Um, I got a horse buckle, piece of lead, fired musket ball, a couple wheat pennies there. That right there is not even a coin, it's some type of disc object. A um, little buckle. I got a, a field artillery pin from World War I. Very neat. It had a little bar across it right there. So that's the best find of the day. That made my hunt. And a little button. But uh, I dug a little bit of trash, not too much. A few odds and ends. So anyway, thanks for watching. Good luck and happy hunting.